So this is the Cincinnati's famous Skyline Chili. So we pretty, oh, let me share the whole thing. Get rid of the, okay. Does it take up the whole screen? Yep. All right, so we've seen these pictures um, and I'm just gonna go through them real quickly. Um, but to me, you know, putting, yeah, I'm from Texas, so putting chili <laughs> on spaghetti was um, an odd thing <laughs> to do. Um, but I was told, I called, I actually talked to two different members about it, asking for the recipe, and they both actually said, you know, um, we, I used to have recipe, I don't know where it is now, because I can buy it in a can and it's really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, but so let's just go through these pictures and the cheese does not melt. It's supposed to be like, like that in the picture. And you're apparently, if you're eating in a restaurant and somebody is twirling the spaghetti, you know they're not from Cincinnati. You have to eat the Cincinnati chili cutting it. So you get a little bit of the raw onion and the cheese and the um, whatever else, the oyster cracker or whatever else you've added. So I'm just gonna go through these quickly so you can see. It looks like there are a couple of beans in here and they don't, what I heard is they don't really add the beans to the chili. It's on the side and you can have that added if you want. Um, and again, if you've got a hot dog, they put this back here is the hot dog and they put chili on it and then they cover it with this cheese. Um, okay, so I thought that was really cute picture. <laughs> and people, it's like, there's your dinner. It's like it is spaghetti. And then up close. Okay, so I thought we really needed to act at least have a recipe to see what was in it because I understand it was um, uh, quite like Mediterranean in flavors. The thing I think that's unusual is it has um, vinegar and um, it has cocoa, a square of unsweetened chocolate. That's why I asked you if the cocoa trees were only in the climate controlled or if it was like native to Cincinnati. Like, how else would you come up with the adding chocolate? Back? Came up with the slave trade. Yeah, ah. chocolate was was from Mexico. You know, knowing this, the um, explorers came over. They that they brought that back to Spain as something new and exciting. It grew ah. in Mexico, those those trees. So it's a tropical type of tree. Okay. Um, it yes. grows in Africa as well. If you go back to the recipe, I'll point out that. So what, what really distinguishes this chili from, say, the Tex-Mex chili is the cinnamon and cumin yeah. that is in there more oh. than anything else. That's pretty common to the different, different chili recipes at the different restaurants is that cinnamon and cumin. And it's a, uh, the, the first, I guess, the inventor of it back in, and I think it was, in, it might have been in the four, 30s or 40s, but uh, they were from Greece. And so that they brought those flavors kind of with them from Greece when they in, immigrated here. But the cinnamon is, uh, is, is especially common across okay. the recipes. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, the other thing, thing we're, we're missing step three here. We saw step one and two. Step three. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> It, um, I was just going to say, you can also get authentic Skyline chili recipes on the internet. My kids live in Cincinnati and they want to go to Skyline chili for their birthdays. We love Skyline chili, <clears throat> but I've made it out here and Bill, I'm from Estes Park. So hello. Yeah. yeah. I joined too late. I'm sorry. I forgot. And I, I joined at 20 here. I wanted to hear about the Underground Railroad because we went there the last time we were in Cincinnati. It's a darling city. So, well, you can watch the video of it when it, the on the YouTube channel. Okay, when thank it's done. you. Um, and actually, everybody, there are only two steps. 
because it's not, it says that like if you read the last line, bring to a boil, reduce heat to simmer and cook stirring occasionally for three hours. Um, so you can see it's, it says up here, takes th three hours and 30 minutes to cook and then another eight hours for a total. <laughs> so people getting it in a can, you know, seems to be a pretty good <laughs> option. Um, now, what I've heard is that you have to be careful in how you order it. It's like, it's the, you want yours either a two-way or a three-way or a four-way. And apparently, you know, they know if you're a visitor or not, if you don't know how to say that right when yeah, you it's, order it. Is that it's, right? not two, it's not two-way, it's chili spaghetti three-way, four-way, or five-way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the Skyline Chili, they came over from Greece in 1949, um, and they, they, it's like they're the official chili of their sports teams, the Cincinnati Reds, the Cincinnati Cyclones, um, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Anyway, they sponsor sports teams and things. So I went online and there are all these products, um, all Skyline Chili. And you can get them at, it says Walmart, Target. And then I did a little more looky and he look at Kroger. And so here's some more products that they have. Um, they have their own oyster crackers. Mm. Oh, and he, so I added this because, you know, many of us are retired and you might <laughs> want something to do. You could open your own Skyline Chili franchise. <laughs> so I went to my Kroger and look at what they had. Skyline chili on the and and I normally buy Hormel chili without beans for I make a dip out of it. Um, I have never noticed the Skyline chili like just the shelf above. Um, little pricey at five nineteen, but it was on sale for three forty nine. So I of course bought a can. And you don't even need a can opener. It has a pop top lid. So um, Jack and I will have not tried it yet. We, <laughs> we will do that at some point. I'm gonna stop sharing and show you the can and the lid, the way you open it. <laughs> Or compared to, uh, oh, Bill's got one too. <laughs> Always <laughs> have one. <laughs> um, so you're invited to come to our house and have chili. Yeah. <laughs> All of you. Because uh, here's to 11 hours of cooking. This, this was pretty darn easy. Sandra? Yeah, I wanted to say that just hats off to the Evergreen Club because when we went to Cincinnati and stayed with Evergreen, they made sure we went home with cans of chili. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask the, the Cincinnati, there was a competitor. So there was two chili places that have been around for 50 years. So what's the name of the competitor? I forgot. Gold Star. Okay, yes. That's yes. A, there are a couple of restaurants that have it, I know. So is their chili better? No, it, either neither one of those are any good. The best chili, in <laughs> best chili in Cincinnati comes from a place in uh, Queensgate. It's called uh, oh, what's it called? Um, well, isn't that a that's old age for you, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, the um, Dixie chili is my favorite. It's over here in uh, Northern Kentucky. Dixie chili. Uh, it's one of the older brands uh, that it's around. And, uh, but the one that I like uh, even better than that, I guess, would be the Camp Washington is the one I was trying to think of. Camp Washington chili. If you come to Cincinnati, you have to go there. 
the Johnny Johnson's been in that business for uh, something like 70 years. Uh, and they, they have the best spaghetti. The spaghetti is what does it. Uh, yeah. Chili is delicious too, but it, uh, to me, Skyline Chili is it's it's just gotten to be run of the mill. Uh, it's overpriced, and uh, so anyway, avoid Skyline, avoid Gold Star, go to Camp Washington Chili or Dixie Chili over in Kentucky. Okay, Camp. So are you saying Washington or Washington? Well, being from Cleveland, I say Washington, so I know that's bad. It's Washington like the president. Okay. Okay, great. Well, we'll have to put that in the blog as well. Um, uh, <laughs> this is all great information. You know, and if you want to take a trip to Cincinnati, we have... Um, we have three members right in Cincinnati. And then we have a number of members um, just slightly north of that. So keep that in mind if you want to plan a trip. And um, let's see, 